So with the Cubase 6 update, we've got something new, and it is in fact the first multi-timbral device to come into Cubase as part of the free package. I'm gonna come up to the devices. I'm gonna to go to VST Instruments, and I'm gonna show you here that I've got loaded the Hadeon Sonic SE. Let me take this away, and we can start from scratch. Let me go down and select Steinberg, if you go to synth, we've got this new entry, the Halion Sonic SE. And what it is, is it's a cut down version of Halion Sonic. I've got an introductory video about that. And uh, Halion Sonic itself is far more powerful, but equally, Halion Sonic SE is a big step up from the Halion 1, okay? Now the good news is that this can load the entire library of the Halion 1, so you've got access to all of those great sounds, but you've also got access to some new ones and extra ability for tweaking the sound, okay? So this video, I'm just gonna show you how we can set it up multi-timbrally with multiple outputs, and I'm gonna add a little bit extra to the beat that I've already got laid down, which is this. That's coming from the Groove Agent 1 at the moment. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on this first channel in the multi-program rack. So you can see here, we've got a selection of these. Programs are essentially sounds that you can load. You can have up to 16 per instance of the Halion Sonic. And when I created the actual device in the instrument rack, what it did was that it created the MIDI track connected to the Halion Sonic for me. If you don't have that, you'll need to manually create a MIDI track. So if I come down here, we're gonna say add MIDI track, and we're gonna say here add track. With this selected on the inspector, you can choose which device it's connected to. So the Halion Sonic SE here, and that's actually on MIDI channel two. So it goes sequentially. Now, if I was to bring this folder up here, and if I was to double click now, it's gonna to go to the Halion Sonic by default. So when I click on this, once you set it up, you can then double click to create a new MIDI track connected to that. So let's just move these drum tracks out of the way and you can select multiples and drag them. So there we go. I'm gonna get the Halion Sonic stuff here. So you can see here MIDI channel one corresponds to the program one. MIDI channel two would correspond to program two. There's nothing loaded there at the moment. MIDI channel four, let me change that to three would be program three and so on. So let's get this all nice and tidy. Let's add some elements to the existing beat. Now I'm gonna put some percussive stuff here. So I'm gonna say here percussion. I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet, um, but I'm gonna come over here onto this first program and I'm gonna click on the arrow here and we've got here the browser and drum and percussion. Latin percussion is where I'm gonna start. So we've got the list here, full set of categories that might include some percussion, you can fine tune it by clicking on the subcategories here. But I'm gonna double click on this. It's loading the Latin percussion. There we go. Let's just have a play around, see if I can get something on here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work for the moment. So let's just record that in. Okay, that's, that's good. I'm just gonna quantize that. And let's move on. What else could we have? I'm gonna actually go through and see what else we've got in that category. Um, Latin percussion, what about this metallic kit? Let's see what kind of textures we've got on here. So it's loading it into the second program. I like the sound of that hat, actually. So let's record this in. So metallic hat, there we go. At the moment, all of the sounds are coming through the same output. So I'm gonna change that as I go because it's gonna be better to have the channels in the mixer to have them for the each individual program. So I'm gonna come back to the VST Instruments rack. It's hidden behind, there we go. I'm gonna turn on these additional outputs and you can see these loading up here. This is exactly the same concept as using the Groove Agent 1. So we're gonna bring a few of these out and I can say on the first one, percussion, 
metallic hat. So this is the outputs into the mixer. This is the MIDI data. So the MIDI data tells the Helion Sonic what to do. The sound comes out into the mixer on these channels, but we haven't set them individually out just yet. So if we want to do that, we come to mix. And on the far right hand side, you can see what's going on here. So for program one, it's on the main, that's fine. For program two, let's come to output two and let's have a look in the mixer now and see what happens. So I can bring that down a bit. I can also pan it. So just moving that over to the right and bringing the volume down. So you're starting to see potentially, we've got ourselves a real powerhouse here. Lots of potential from the same instance of the Hallion Sonic. Let's have a look for something else. Drum and percussion. Um, let me see. Okay, maybe wood shop. I'm thinking about some kind of wooden percussion, additional textures. Okay, now I'm actually realizing I'm actually on MIDI channel two. So make sure we move to the next one. And this one is gonna be wood percussion. That's a nice one. There we go. So this is the thing, you know, it can catch you out sometimes if you're not being methodical. What you've got to do is when you want to move to the next program, create yourself a new MIDI track, or if you've already got one, make sure you select the next number. So let's keep that where it is and let's find something else to add on top as well. So wood percussion, let me think about something on program four. In fact, whilst I'm here, let me get also the output three. So that's the wood shop is on the output three in the mixer. Let's double click and name this as well. There we go. And what else? Let's have a look on program number four. I'm still feeling I want to go on this percussive tip. Um, maybe ethnic, what do we get here? Um, just looking on the right hand side. No, nothing like that. Back to the drums and percussion. Maybe something a bit more electronic this time. I'm at the bottom of the list already. Let me just go back up. Um, yeah, maybe something like some kind of electronic rim shot kind of a vibe. Maybe something like this, the electro kit. Let's see what that holds. Actually, do you know what? That's a nice sound, I think that could suit this. Let's just see what happens if I play it. Yeah, I think something quite simple like that. So we got ourselves this reverb percussion here. This is on program four. Let's go to the mixer. Let's set the output to four and then we can name the output. Let's call that reverb percussion. So we got ourselves a nice little extra set of textures on top of the beat, all coming from the Hallion Sonic. And this has been just focused on some percussive elements. You know, you could obviously use each program as an instrument. So you could have the bass on MIDI channel one, the keys on MIDI channel two, strings on three, and so on. So the procedure, you literally set up your MIDI track rooted to the correct MIDI channel. The channel correlates to the actual program number here. Go onto your mix page, drop down the outputs, make that selection and you name the actual tracks in the mixer here making sure of course when you load the device that you've got your multiple outputs turned on otherwise you will not see those tracks in the mixer so this is a really really nice new addition in cubase 6 that's a halion sonic se it loads the complete halion one library so it gives you everything that you know but in more detail and you can actually set it up for the multiple outputs in the mixer with multiple MIDI channels as a multi-timbral device.